Did you know? Videos generate 1200% more share than both images and text. Uh, 1200? Wow. Yes, we are living in a vast ocean of videos. And if you want to avoid getting lost in the sea, you've got to be a standout fish. Let me show you how you can lure and hook viewers with the power of animated videos. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm using these fishing terms. Hi, I'm Jana, a community builder here at Canva. In this video, I'm sharing five brilliant hacks using Canva's animation features. Turning your videos into the kind of irresistible content viewers can't help but take the bait on. Stick around until the end, and I'll even throw in an added extra. But before we dive in, have you subscribed to our channel? Here you'll find tips and design inspiration from Canva experts. We upload videos every week, so hit that subscribe button so you never miss a thing. Oh look, this one's all about text effects. That's actually a great segue. First up, animated text. Guess what? 85% of Facebook videos are watched without sound. Adding text helps your audience follow the message even when the sound is off, making your video more engaging, understandable, and clear. Look, this video is already well cut and interesting. It's sure to grab some attention just because of the subject. But add text and this IG reel becomes inspiring and motivational. Thankfully, it's really easy to get started. Canva has over 1,500 video templates that already come with stylish texts, just waiting to be customized. From the home page, just type in what you're looking for. Hover over the template and it will preview the text animation. Wow, some of these are really good. I'll choose this one. Add images or video from the element tab. To add your own text, simply click here. There is a bunch of examples you can drag and drop. Or click in the editing canvas and hit T on your keyboard. Type in your text and then choose a font. There are recommendations here too to get you inspired. Change the font color here and the size here. You can also do that by grabbing these handles on the bounding box. Or rotate it like this. Adjust the position in this menu. Spacing is here. And alignment right here. Okay, static text design done. You still with me? Let's animate. Select the text and then go here. Hover to see what it will look like. Choose whether you want the animation to happen at the start of the frame or at the end or both. Want to adjust the timing? If you're a pro or Canva for Teams customer, you can adjust it here. And finally, choose the direction. Hit the preview here to see what it's looking like. To add another page, just click here. Adjust the timing of the separate pages like this. Let me go ahead and finish the video so you can see how easy it is. Add the logo here at the end. You can animate that as well. A call to action and a way for them to get in contact. Done! Isn't it easy? Let's look at how you can download it. Head to the share button here, download as an MP4 here, or choose to share it direct to social here. Oh wow, I need to get a move on if I want to get through the other four hacks. Next up, create a video collage using frames. Can decide which of your amazing takes to use. Why not to use them all? 
just upload your videos choose a frame then duplicate them in your canvas drag and drop your videos into the frames double click and drag to adjust the placement of your video to show different angles and then use page animations to add movement to your design pretty cool right well number three mimic the movement of a camera slider using canvas zoom feature zoom in to draw attention to something or zoom out for a subtle reveal click on the video go to animate and photo movement then find photo zoom you'll have the option to apply the movement on enter or exit or both if you have a premium account you'll be able to adjust the scale of the zoom and whether it zooms in or out. Number four, make your video pop with attention-grabbing animated elements. Perfect for leading your audience eyes to where you want them. Canvas element library is huge. Type in your keyword, choose graphics, then refine your search by ticking this box so you only find animated elements. This one is perfect. There is no way people will miss the call to action now. Found the right element, but it's static? No problem. You can animate an element too by clicking here and choosing a movement. Or try this brand new feature right here. Select your element and then drag it around on the page. Drag fast to create a fast animation and slow to create, hmm, you guessed it, a slow animation. It's easy. Okay, last top tip, transitions. Add the extra oomph in between the clips to keep the audience engaged until the end. To add a transition, first make sure you're in the timeline view. Hover between shots and hit the Add Transition icon. Preview the options and choose the movement that best fits your videos. I like the flow transition. You can use this transition to convey a change of direction, subject or mood. While we are here, check out Match and Move. This finds similar elements between two clips and creates movement to connect them. Oh, we have a video with Jenny where she shows some great match and move effects. It's a video about animating logos, but the series is the same. Okay, I'm running out of time and thanks for sticking around. Let me give you one extra little tip. You might have seen this viral cutout collage from your IG Reel lately. It's pretty cool. You'll need the pro feature of background remover for this. Here is a pattern. Normal photo, cutout appears. Normal photo with cutout in it, cutout appears, normal photo, and so on. Let me show you how I created it. I've lined up the photos I want to use in the timeline. I'll duplicate them Edit the image in the first clip to create a cutout using the background remover. Copy and paste the cutout to the previous slide. Then delete the slide, repeat the steps, and again. See, that's a photo, cut out, photo, then cut out again, and so on. Add transitions in between and animate your cutouts to really take it to the next level. Wow, five quick hacks and one little edit extra. We've given you a bunch of different types of hooks, but it's up to you to reel it in your catch. Put your questions in the comments. We'll get back to you ASAP. Oh, hello, still hooked, huh? 
Don't worry, I've got what you need. We've got lots of tutorials conducted by design experts on our playlist. Here's one video that I think you will like. Why not check it out now? See you next time.